One of the most difficult things for people to understand in Tableau is the difference between table calcs and level of detail expressions. In this video, I'm going to do my best to explain the difference by using a slope graph and trying to color the lines with either a table calc or an LOD. I'll explain when one should be used versus the other and the benefits of each. Let's get started. I'm working with a mock sales data set, which you can find in the link to this video or in the description to this video. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to filter down to two years, let's say 2019 and 2020. And I'm going to look at the average sale price across those two years. And I'm going to put the make onto detail. So now we have a make of each car. Each line represents a make. The first thing I want to do is I want to get rid of those that have uh, only sales in one year. So to do that, I'm going to create a new calculated field. I'm going to call it only uh, so two years. And I'm going to call it TC for table calc. And in this example, I'm going to do a window sum, which helps me count across the window. And I'm going to look at the count distinct of the year of purchase date. This is going to allow me to count the number of years in the view. So if I hit OK, and I'm just going to drag that to the, uh, to the label shelf so you can see what it's doing. Let's look at the calculation. And we'll see that it's computing. It's computing each year separately. So it's computing by year. In other words, it's counting across the years. And it's restarting every time it gets to a new make. And you can see we have a bunch of ones and twos. So what I want to do here is I'm going to go ahead and drag that to the filter shelf and say I want it to have at least two years. And now I have just those. So that's, again, the benefit of a table calculation. I can count the number of things in the view. But now I want to color code these lines based on whether there is an increase or a decrease between 2020 and 2019. So let's go ahead and put sales price onto the color shelf. And let's add a table calculation. We're going to make it a difference from table calculation. And again, we want to go, we want to compute it separately for each make. And instead of relative to previous, I'm going to set it to be relative to first. That means if we happen to have more years in here, it'll always compare to the first year in the data set. So let's close that. And what you'll see now is on the left hand side when I hover over, the difference in the sale price is zero. That's because we're comparing the 2019 sales to itself because I chose the first option. When I go to the right-hand side, I can see the difference between 20 and 2019, which is great. But you'll see how we have a gradual color. I want these, these to be a solid color, but because we're comparing to the first year, you'll see Tableau gives us that gradual color. It's zero on the left-hand side, and it's whatever value it has as the difference on the right-hand side. So how can we make that a single color? First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drag my table calculation from the color shelf into the data pane. And I'm going to call this difference from first. And I'm going to put TC for table calc. And let's edit that calculation. And what you'll see it's doing here is Tableau is it's saying take the average sale price. So that's the, the value itself, either 2020 or 2019. And it's comparing that to the first value. So when it says look up, this is kind of saying go across the view and find the average sale price at whatever I specify here on the right hand side. So I'm saying go find the average sale price from the first value. So that's what it's doing here. It's comparing the sale price to the first sale price. Okay, great. Now all I want to do is I want to say, you know what, is that greater than zero? Just yes or no. I'm going to hit apply and notice my table calculation breaks. That's okay. That's because it was using a value before a uh, a number before, but now we're just returning a true or a false. So I'm just going to replace it onto the color shelf. And again, I want to compute that using purchase date. Now notice we have now a blue line for some of them, but notice how some of them are a gradual orange. It goes from blue to orange. We don't want that. We want them to be a solid color, either an increase or a decrease. So if we hover over the line on the uh, one of the dots on the left-hand side for 2019, you'll see it says false. That's because it doesn't have anything to compare to or because it's zero. the value is zero. So what I need to do now is I need to tell 2019 
to go find the value for 2020. So if I hover over 2020, for example, you see this particular mark says true, but over here it says false. What I want this false to do is I want it to go bring back the value of the 2020. So let's edit our table calculation, and I'm going to use another lookup function. So I'm going to say lookup, and I'm going to look up this expression that I have here, and then comma last. So this time I'm going to go get the value at the end of the line. Table calculations work inside out. So what Tableau is doing is it's first evaluating the difference from the first, and it's checking is that greater than zero. And whether it is or not, we're going to go ahead and get that value from the last mark. So if I hit apply, you'll see now I just have two solid colors. Now the lines are all overlapping, like you can see they crisscross quite a bit. Because this is a table calculation, I can't make all of the trues come to the front or all of the falses come to the front. I could do it by just highlighting one of them. Like let's say I only, I only want to focus on those that decreased, I could do it like that. But if I just want to show the two colors, then uh, they're going to crisscross. So let's go ahead and edit our colors. I'm going to maybe pick my Makeover Monday color palette. Those that are increased, I'm going to maybe make a light blue. And those that are decreased, I'm going to maybe make a strong red. Something like that. And now we have a slope graph that has a single line, uh, a single color for each line. Let's look at that table calculation one more time. And it's saying we want to look up the sale price and, and determine if that's bigger than zero compared to the 2019. And then once we have that value, no matter where we are in the view, I want to find the true or false from the last value, which would be 2020 in this case. So let's hit OK. Now the beauty of a table calculation here is I can swap out this dimension. So let me go ahead and show my hidden fields. And let's say I want to swap it out for maybe country. So I'm going to unhide country. And the beauty of a table calc is I can now take country and I'm going to replace it with the make. And you'll see my calculations still work. Right? I can put make back in there. It doesn't matter because our table calculation is just referencing other fields that are in the view. So let's call this our uh, slope graph table calc. Okay, so how do we do the same thing but with a level of detail expression? So let's create a new sheet, and again, we're going to filter down to just those two dates. Okay, and let's bring purchase date to the columns and average sale price to the rows. And let's put make on to detail. Okay, so we're back to the same thing we had before. Now to do this filtering, so I, again, I want to bring back just those that have values for both years. I'm not going to use my two years table calc. So if I look at that again, you'll say it says window sum count distinct year of order date. So what I want to do now is I need to count the number of years in the view for each line. So let's go ahead and uh, let's call this our two years LOD. So I'm going to fix it on make because I want to uh, repeat it separately for each uh, field. I'm sorry, for each make. And I want to do a count distinct of the year of order date. Oh, sorry, purchase date. And then close that with the mustachio. And if I hit OK, and uh, I'm just going to actually just drag that to be a dimension in this case, and let's put that on color, and you'll see we have lots of different lines. Now, what I uh, let's go ahead and make purchase date. Let's add that to context, and now we get just the ones and the twos. The reason I need to add this to context is because I want my filtering to happen before my fixed level detail expression occurs. So that's Tableau's order of operations. And you can see we get some ones and some twos. So I'm just going to click on the one and choose exclude. And there we go. OK, so again, that's the difference between a table calc and an LOD. Now, the issue here is if I swap out make for country, you'll see all of these dots come back. I've get a, I have a bunch of countries that only have uh, data for one of the two years. And that's because my two years LOD is only fixed on the uh, the make field. So um, so maybe I should specify or cha change the, uh, the name of my calculation to make it a bit more specific. So this is two years make LOD. All right. So again, this refer, uh, this LOD, ex this level of detail expression uh, 
uh, is only relative to the, uh, the make of the car. Okay, so that's one of the drawbacks of using a level of detail expression. So let's put make back in the view and we're all set. Okay, so uh, now let's look at the difference between the two. So we first are gonna need to create a few different calculated fields. So let's call this 2019 average sales per make. So I'm gonna fix it on make and I'm gonna say average if the year of purchase date equals 2019, then sales, sale price, and, and wrap that in a bracket, and then a mustachio. So this is gonna bring back my sales for 2019, hit okay. And if I put that on the tooltip, you'll see I get my sales for 2019 across both sides of the view. Okay, so let's look at this particular line. Uh, 2019 sales is 99,795. 2019 sales is 99,795. Okay, great. So let's take that back off the view and then we can duplicate this field. And let's call this 2020. Uh, 2020 average sales per make. And all I need to do is change my filter to 2020. So again, table ex uh, level of detail expressions work inside out just like uh, just like table calculations. So first I'm just looking at every record and determining which year it's in and then bringing back the sale price and then I'm aggregating those to the make level. So I'm going to group by the make and get the average of any sale in 2020. Okay. Okay, so now we have those two, and I can just create a simple calculated field that compares them. So I'm going to call this one uh, difference from 2019 LOD. And in this case, all I want to say is my 2020 sales are greater than my 2019 sales. Hit OK. And I get a Boolean up here in my dimensions. I can drag that onto the color shelf and I get two colors. Okay, now the beauty of this, of using a level of detail expression, is my blue lines are always in front of the orange lines. If I want the orange to be first, I can, or in front, I can drag those like that. Okay, just drag them around in the color legend. So let's edit our colors. Let me go back and choose the same colors. So let's edit our colors. And let's pick the Makeover Monday color palette. The trues we did a light blue and the falses we did a strong red. And there we go. So let me put the false back in front of the true. And you can see the difference between the two. Okay, that looks pretty good. So, uh, but the problem again here is let's say that I don't want this to be make. I want to make it by country or I want it to uh, show a line for each country. So if I put country into the view, it looks like a mess. So we have, uh, it looks like we have you know, some lines that are an increase that are red. For example, right here, that should be a, that should be a, um, a blue line because it's increasing. And that's where our level of detail expression lets us down. So in my difference from, uh, sorry, that's the wrong calculation. In my 2019 average sales, I have it fixed on make. I would need to write a different calculation that fixes it on country. Now I could get around that, around that by making a parameter uh, that lets me pick between the make and the country. But the purpose of this video was to just show you the drawbacks of a level of detail expression. So what I would do in, in each of these cases here is I would typically use a table calculation. I use a table calculation because all of the dimensions that I need for the calculation are already in the view. And by in the view, I mean either on the pages shelf, the marks card, the columns, or the rows. If, you're, if all of the fields you need are in the view, start with the table calculation. They're much more flexible in examples like this. So I hope you found that useful and I hope it helps clear up some of the understandings that, uh, that maybe you are a bit confused about comparing table calculations and level of detail expressions. And that's all I have for today. Have a great day.